Hi friends, this is your Prophet, Prophet Greg. Please, today is your very first time of watching our channel. We love you, we celebrate you. I will urge you that you subscribe, you like, and you share. And the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Today, we are looking at how to break blood covenant. Covenant generally has to do with the agreement of two parties. Mr. A and Mr. B. And so what makes that covenant effective is two things. One, the agreement. Two, the spirit that comes to ignite or confirm or establish the covenant. These are two major forces in the covenant. And that is why when the covenant is broken by any other party, is that spirit that goes against the person. Praise God. So blood covenant is a serious issue. Praise God. It binds the two together by the presence of that spirit. So the question is, how can I break the blood covenant? Number one, you must acknowledge that blood covenant is a sinful act. It's a sinful act. And so, for you to break it, you must ask God for mercy and forgiveness. There are some people that before they make blood covenant, they will sleep with each other, and then they make the blood covenant. And so, you must ask God for forgiveness. You must repent of that sin of doing blood covenant. Praise God. Call the name of the second party. That is number two. Call the name of the second party and renounce the covenant. Renounce the covenant. Call the name of the second party and renounce the covenant. Remember, the agreement is powerful. What you say. And so now you have changed your mind. And so you are to call the name of the person. Tell the person. For instance, it was John. Say, John, today, I stand to renounce the covenant, the blood covenant that I made with you. I renounce the blood covenant in the name of Jesus. I renounce the blood covenant by the blood of Jesus. Number three, arrest the spirit that is the magnetic force of the covenant. The spirit involved in the covenant. Now, when people make covenant, there are spirits in the air. Some will go to the water. Some will go under a tree. Some will go to other places. There are territorial powers. And then they are the ones that ignite the covenant or establish the covenant. So, arrest the spirit. Whatever spirit was present that day, arrest the spirit. Bind the spirit. Cast the spirit out. Today I have changed my mind. So I am arresting you out. Number four. Break the covenant. If you can enter into the covenant by your words. You can break the covenant by your words. So open your mouth. Call the name of that second party. John. Today. The blood covenant I made with you. Was in the days of ignorance. Today. I break the covenant. John, the blood covenant that I made with you, I break it today by the blood of Jesus. I break it today by the blood of Jesus. I break it today by the blood of Jesus. Remember, the blood of Jesus is superior to your own blood. Revelation chapter 12, verse number 11, we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And so use the blood of Jesus against the demon and against the negative utterance that bind the two of you together. The last point. Shout seven times I am free from this blood covenant between me and John. I am free from this blood covenant between me and John in the name of Jesus. I am free. You shout it seven times. Praise God. So with this the covenant is broken. With this, you are free. And you are free from that covenant by the power and the name of Jesus Christ. Shalom.